Hi and welcome to 21st Pittsburgh. Today is the 30th of November and it is 1078 days since Jesse James caught that football. In Pittsburgh not just the wind are coming from the left but also some snow. There are expected to be 2-3 to three inches of snow on Monday and we will see how that can affect the game on Tuesday against the Baltimore Ravens. During the Sunday games we learned that Baker Mayfield might not be a long-term solution for the Cleveland Browns on the quarterback position after all. Big surprise. Although the Browns won against the Jaguars with 27 to 25, Baker Mayfield struggled a bit and had a few super good opportunities but missed out with overthrown passes as usual. The Bengals lost against the Giants with 19 to 17 as expected, although the Giants struggle a little bit more than I would have thought. Tampa Bay Buchaners lost against the Kansas City Chiefs, and since Antonio Brown, you know, Mr. Big Chest got to Tampa Bay Buchaners, they are 1 and 3. I don't understand really why people got Tampa Bay Buccaneers as a top team and a Super Bowl contender. At the moment, Steelers, Chiefs, Saints, Titans, Bills, Browns, Seahawks, Packers, Rams, Dolphins, Colts and Ravens all got better record than Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The New Orleans Saints won against the Denver Broncos with 31-3. No big surprise there since Kendall Hilton, a wide receiver that are normally on the Broncos practice squad, had to step in and play the quarterback. He had one completion for 9 attempts and 13 yards and 2 interceptions. The entire quarterback room of the Denver Broncos had been put on the COVID-19 list prior to the game. There is still a big difference between the Baltimore Ravens and the Denver Broncos regarding the COVID-19 outbreak. Ravens have had ongoing situations, while Broncos had an isolated incident which led to several people being put on the COVID-19 exemption list. Adam Schefter of the ESPN reported that Broncos and Ravens are under investigation though for potential disciplinary actions. Adam Schefter writes, Every team that has alleged COVID-19 protocol violations get reviewed. It's standard. NFL and NFLPA first work to control the spread, then review facts, then NFL consider disciplinary actions for any violations. Adam Schefter of the ESPN also reports that Ravens Pro Bowler tight end Mark Andrews also had tested positive for COVID-19. Jameson Hensley, an ESPN reporter covering the Ravens, reports that Willis Sneed have tested positive for the coronavirus as well yesterday. This will put the Baltimore Ravens on 8 days straight with at least one positive corona test. At the moment, the following people in the Baltimore Ravens are on the COVID-19 list. Quarterback Lamar Jackson, running back J.K. Jobbins, running back Mark Ingram, tight end Mark Andrews, center Patrick McCarry, center Matt Scura, fullback Pat Richard, defensive tackle Brandon Williams of the Manchester United, D-line Kala Campbell, linebacker Matt Judas, linebacker Fernella McPhee, linebacker Jalen Ferguson, offensive line D.J. Fulker, Long snapper Morgan Cox, defensive tackler Justin Madbulik, quarterback Trace McSorley, D-line Jihad Ward, D-line Broderick Washington, cornerback Kalali Dorsey, cornerback Tavon Young, cornerback Iman Marshall, and guard Will Holden. From the Steelers camp we don't get that much to report. The game status is still the same as it was yesterday. They did practice yesterday and had no new cases regarding the COVID-19 situations. 
the Jacksonville Jaguar reported that they have sacked the general manager. So everybody send in your applications. Will there be an NFL this Christmas? Well, this have risen in discussions lately since the cases of COVID-19 had been on the rise, not just in the NFL, but in society in general in the United States. NFL.com's Ian Rapapaport reports that if they are going to create a bubble, it will take at least a week to set up after the testing and the pre-isolation is done. So it might take more than two weeks just to set up this bubble. Then we have to take in consideration all the logistics and everything around the creation of a bubble. There is a lot of obstacles to set up a bubble. The most important is that all the people need to be free from COVID once the bubble is up. And that will take time. Big question will be if NFL got the time to wait for the playoff to create a bubble or are they going to do it as soon as possible? And how long will they have to move the season forward then to create this bubble? All these questions are up in the air at the moment. Thank you for listening to 21st Pittsburgh here on YouTube. You can catch us on Twitter at 21st Pittsburgh. See you tomorrow.